Okay, so I've just had a call from Jonathan at Beatdown Records, the guy I was telling you about. He said that they're looking for someone new in your genre at the minute, and they want a new track. I don't know, I used to enjoy writing music, and now my manager's on my back. It'll come. It'll come. It's come so far. Waking, washing, working, then sleep. They want me to go down to London next week and start making an album for them. Surprise, Mum! What you're doing is so wrong. Can't you see that? Is everything okay? Yeah, you know what teenagers are like, Mum. I'm sorry, your card's declined. Don't be his white hair taken off. I can lend you some money to see you through. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You're just a strange northern man. I mean, just a strange Welsh man. <laughs> Interrupting people's vlogs. You're gonna tell her, because it's you who's caused this. All honesty does here is ruin everything. I want to tell the family. I'm gonna have a baby. Come on, you've got a good taste in music. What? Lucy. Was that a joke? No, Lucy, I can explain. Mm, was that a joke? I can explain. Look. No, no. But Lucy. No, no. You and him. You and my cousin. No, it wasn't his fault. No, you don't get to talk. You screwed my boyfriend. It's not. It's, it's, it's not his fault. He didn't know. I, I didn't I, know I he was your boyfriend, you. did I? You screwed my cousin, and you screwed my boyfriend. Oh. It's not as bad. As Lucy, wait. Wait! Well, another uh, nice family party you've got going here. Lucy! Come on, babe, we can sort this out. Look, after what you've done, I don't think you can tell me what to do. Please just listen. Go on. I'd love to hear what you can say to justify screwing my cousin. Go on then, Ollie, you tell her. I didn't even know you were together, did I? Look, it wasn't Ty's fault. I, I was a bit confused and I, I... Shut up, Ollie. I don't want to hear it anymore. Do you hear how crazy this sounds? Come on, we can talk this out, surely. You know what? Please. I don't want to listen to either of you anymore. I'm done with this. As far as I'm concerned, you're both fucking dead to me. Lucy, babes, come on! We could sort the. Please. Have faith, lying hard. There's nothing left can tear us apart. We can find our way back through in the dark. Fire like us can't ignite without sparks. And I knew from the start. I found redemption like the knave of hearts Things can only get better If you nurture and treasure and Keep me awake from the dark The nights filled with stars And couples copulate in, in cars If the sky falls I might Come on still down, just come on! To know what's going on. Well, come down when you're ready, then. Hello, Dale. Yes, well, I want you to come home as quickly as you can, please. It's all kicked off here. Well, uh, yeah, I'll let you know when we get home. When you get home, I'll tell you all about it. Bye, love. See you later. Bye. I think I'm going to need a, a laptop soon. Well, good luck with that. 
He brought Harry his camera. And that was for sixth form. Anyway, why do you need a laptop? Everyone at school's got one. We'll see. She's getting a laptop, then I want a new bike. God, so are you two, let it go. Has Christmas suddenly come round and someone's forgotten to tell me about it? Is that a yes? Listen, don't forget that I'm going to Sheila's tonight. You two behave yourselves for Andrea. Nothing, eh? It's not fair. Wow, Glenn, you were excellent tonight. Was I? D did I do good? Top performance. Five stars. Finally, you do something right in your sad and pathetic excuse for a life. Don't say that. Please. Truth heard, does it, Glenn? Don't you like the truth? Sad, pathetic life. Shut up. Shut up. When are you going to get a girlfriend anyway, Glenn? Still a virgin, aren't you? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Loser, 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 loser. Stop it. So where would you rather be, here or the other house? Here. Okay, so we, we all need to do some things, don't we? And I need you to be part of that. Just because Harry is all over pain doesn't mean that you two, and I'm really disappointed in you because you've never asked me for stuff and all of a sudden you're asking me for stuff. Everybody at school's got it. Don't do that, Toby, when I'm talking to you. Or giggle. I, I don't know why you find this funny. If you carry on giggling, you'll go up to your room. <sighs> Stay up there! I really need your help with this. If I could buy you a new laptop... I would... Ouch! <laughs> Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. If I could buy you a laptop, do you think I'd buy you a laptop? Probably not. Why don't you think I would? Because Harry always gets everything. I'm really sorry that you feel like that, but that new outfit you've got on, I bought you that when Harry got his camera. It's not as expensive, but I do try to treat you equally. Strange Welsh man again. I see you're still struggling to find the difference between a northerner and a Welsh man. <laughs> I always will. You see, I am like that. But you know what I am good at? I'm quite good at reading people and knowing when something's up. You're not thinking of jumping in, are you? Me? No. I've never been a good swimmer. You see, the people that tend to come down here are the sort who walk their dog or just stop and chat about the weather. And I don't see a dog, and you haven't mentioned the weather once, so... Yeah, well, I could say the same thing about you. <laughs> now, you know that's not true. You know my excuse. Yeah, it's, it's just been a difficult few months. And I find coming here with the fresh air, it helps me to think. I hope it's nothing too bad. Honestly? I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, I'm a good listener. Charlie! Can you be packed and ready to leave, please? Want to go straight after rush hour to avoid the traffic? Oh, it's a shame you've got to go back earlier than I expected. I've loved having you here. I oh, know, Mum. I'm devastated, but Clive and I have got to go and sign some paperwork at the bank to start the investigation. I know. It's a shame all this happened. I know. I know. Did you... any luck with the money? Oh yes, I've transferred 4000 over to your account. 
that should be enough, shouldn't it? This should be. Oh, Mum, thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. <laughs> you know, as soon as this is sorted, I'll get it back to you. I hate putting it on you like this. Don't worry. It's fine. have you been saying to my mum? What are you on about? I've not seen her in ages. Uh, exactly. She's too scared to even come over to ours. And that's my fault how? Because apparently you've been telling her things, that things are going on and it's not safe. I was joking. I, she's a grown woman. She'll get over it. No, she's a vulnerable lady. You, you, you need to sort this. You've broken my mum and I don't know how, but you need to fix this. So that's it. What do you mean, is that it? Well, I just thought it'd be something pretty serious. That is pretty serious. Oh, come on. On the grand scale of things, is it really that serious? I mean, you've literally just had change. It's no big deal. You just moved from one place to another. Yeah, but it's pretty big change. Yeah, but change is always big, no matter what it is. But if we didn't have change, then we'd never be able to progress and move forward. Hey, oh, it's the philosopher among us. <laughs> oh, but it's true, isn't it? I mean, you've literally moved from one place to another. It's not a big deal. So many people do that in our town. Yeah, but it's just unwanted change. But change is always unwanted. I mean, you know what I think? I have a strong feeling you're going to tell me anyway. <laughs> yes, actually, I am. But I think you're making yourself unhappy. Yeah, you've had change, but instead of embracing it and moving forward, you're just holding on to something that's making you unhappy. I mean, come on, just start enjoying your life and move forward, and then hopefully you'll make yourself happy. Well, that's me told. <laughs> and if I don't? Well, if you don't, you'll have me to deal with. Say goodbye to your nan. Bye nan, thanks for letting me stay. Oh, you're welcome. I just hope you've enjoyed it. I have, it's been brilliant. Thank, Thank you really. so much. You're welcome darling, anytime. Don't forget that. <laughs> right. no. Have you got anything else? Yes dear. There is, um... um Charlie, yeah. um, really we need to be going. I don't want to be late. Bye mum. Hmm? Bye bye darling. I don't think it's okay, sweetheart. Oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Dave, what are you actually doing out here? Just thinking, sort of to 
brighten the place up a bit. What would you think about some sort of like coloured panels or something? You're such a dream. Anyways, I've got something for you. What's this? Ah, <laughs> no way, no. Oh, come on, it could help. I am not sitting with a bunch of fuddy duddies who are going on about weight loss in it. Oh, look, this is Heather. She used to be 50 stone. She went on to our weight loss program. Now she's only nine stone. No way, I'm not doing it. It's being dictated about to by some woman. Just give it a try. It could help. Then... <sighs> And anyways, you were the one who said that you wanted to get healthy, lose weight, shape up, you know, go on about heart attacks and stuff like that. Right, I'll try. But, I swear, anyone starts having a go at me, I'm out of there. Oh, they won't. Well, you could always come to water aerobics with me. I'll, I'll go to this. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Panels. Mm. Clive, it's me. Um, we're now leaving. Everything sorted and well, I'll see you in a few hours. I hope you're pleased with yourself. This is all so wrong. Oh, how many times? Would you rather sleep out on the street? Because that's what would happen if that's what you want. Obviously not, but I don't see why I had to get the money from Nan or because you and Clive messed up. How many times did I say we did not mess up? It was a solid investment. How are we to know it was going to go wrong? It well, was nobody's fault, so just... Well, maybe, if had a proper financial advisor and who knew what he was doing, you would have made that stupid mistake. Charlie! Mikey's taxis for James Alexander. Darkness tries to drag you down Was lost inside A cold and lonely place Now I can you. see Hope shines upon my face And now I've got the key.